A stack is a dynamic data structure with a variety of applications in the field of computing. It's known as a dynamic data structure because the amount of data it contains can increase and decrease while it's in use. A stack is known as a last-in, first-out data structure because new items are added to the top of the stack and items can only be removed from the top of the stack. Think of a pile of dirty dishes that needs washing. To implement a stack, we could use an array variable. We would normally also include a variable to indicate how many items the stack can contain and a pointer variable to indicate the top of the stack. With an empty stack, the top pointer will be zero. Now, let's say we want to put some data onto the stack. This is known as a push operation. So we're going to push the data Kevin onto this stack. This involves incrementing the value of top and then putting that data into the array at that position. Another push, we increment the value of top and add the data and so on. There'll come a point where we try to push another item of data, but the value of top is the same as the value of the maximum size, in which case the stack is full and we can't add any more. Taking data from a stack is known as popping data. So when we perform a pop operation, we copy data from the position denoted by top and then decrement top. It's worth noticing as well that when we take data from the stack, we don't necessarily have to remove it from the array that contains the data. All we need to do is redefine top. So when we push new data onto the stack, it is at this stage we redefine top and if necessary, overwrite data which was previously popped. Let's take a look at the pseudocode involved. We're going to need an array variable to contain the data. We're going to need a variable, or in this case a constant, to define the maximum size. It makes sense to use a constant because this won't change. And then we need a variable for top. So here's our push operation. You can see we perform a check to see if top is equal to the maximum size. If so, the stack is full. Otherwise, we increment the top pointer and we use it to assign data to the appropriate element of the array variable. This is the pop operation, which is essentially the reverse. A quick check to see if top is zero, in which case we would report that the stack is empty. Otherwise, we can take data from the array variable and copy it to somewhere else. This of course depends on what we want to do with that data. And then we can decrement the value of top. In summary then, items are pushed onto the top of a stack and items are popped from the top of the stack. A stack is therefore a last in first out data structure. It's sometimes referred to as a LIFO data structure. A stack is also known as an abstract data type. In the example we've just seen, the data is actually contained within an array variable. But this need not be the case. The data could just as easily be saved inside a text file or even a database table. What matters is that the stack is notionally like a pile of dirty dishes and it has a push and a pop operation. Stacks are used all over the place. The call stack is used to store return addresses, parameters and register contents when subroutines call each other. Stacks are also used by compilers to evaluate complex mathematical expressions. And of course, stacks could be used in all kinds of scenarios by programmers.